Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fighters from the fighters back to my left in the blue corner. He hails from Burton. He's 20 years old. Starts 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighing at 61 kilos. He fights out of the Devil's Pit and has a mixed martial arts record of two contests, one win and one loss. Let's hear it for two. So, Jack Johnson from Devil's Pit and Sam Hodgson from Salford MMA. Sam in the white and camouflage. Jake in the uh, full black shorts, the venom shorts. 20 year old versus 16 year old there. Yeah, Sam is a strong kid for a 16 year old though. I've trained with Sam over at. Um, Salford MMA with Dad Sherlock and Sam here in uh, top position side control. He's, he's got a record of 2 0, so that's a decent record. And reverse there, but he could use the cage to, or use the cage to push himself away. Turning in now, looking to regard. Jake holding top position. Jake needs to clear his head here and start working. He needs to get his posture up. Sam back to guard. Close guard. And he looks straight away, Sam's looking for submissions, he looks to get his head underneath there for the arm triangle. Needs to be climbing his legs up here. Jake do a uh, good plan taking uh, Sam over to his own corner. I think Jake's trying to show his, uh, his strength uh, to Sam. Very, been very solid with his movements. Pushing a lot of weight down onto him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got him in his own corner now, so he'll be getting advice from uh, from his corner team. At the moment, though, he's not really doing anything. He's, uh, Sam looks to have a body triangle on there, which will make it very difficult for Jake to do anything. And it might get the referee to stand this up. That the, he, he's not going to get a submission from a body triangle. Uh, he needs to open his guard to do that. The Devil's Pit corner men uh, giving advice there. And the stand up from the referee. I think that was a good idea there. Definitely a good stand up. Very experienced referees on this show. And he catches a oh, nice trip there from good, Sam. Good work there from Sam. Throws a body shot and then jumps into the guard of Jake. Now let's see if, uh, if Sam looks to pass or if Jake looks to start working submissions. At the moment he's got a closed guard. Not very much happening with the closed guard there. Well, there have been some quite even matchups here at uh, Fight UK MMA and uh, Yeah, I've been impressed. I think there's been some uh, some really, really even the match fights. And for amateur fights, which I'm not usually that impressed with the rules, I think uh, that they've been really good matchups. Yeah, some people are critical of the uh, lack of headshots on the floor, and I can say it can be a little bit boring, but the, uh, the fighters have been very, very entertaining today. I think it's a credit to the matchmaking of, uh, of the promoter, uh, Alistair. And that's the end of the round. That was a close round, Andy. Who would you give that round to? I I'd score that even. I think it, it was uh, very up and down. Um, yeah. I don't know, how would you say it? Both got takedowns, a couple of reversals, um, not really many submission attempts. I think um, both kind of feeling what the other the other had. It'll be, 
It'll be interesting to see what they come out with in the second round. Um, Sam getting some advice from uh, the very experienced Daz Sherlock from Salford MMA. And Jake getting advice from his uh, team from the Devil's Pit in Burton on Trent. Very impressive, uh, Sam, 16 year old. Looks very experienced, very composed in the corner. Yeah, he's a very calm, relaxed kid for, for a 16 year old. He's, he's gaming, he wants to get in there and do it. I spoke to him, he's a very focused kid. I think that's a credit to himself and uh, Darren Sherlock. Who runs the fight icon shows? Yeah, Sherlock Promotions. Really good. Yeah, very very good shot now from Sam, and he left himself open to take down. Good take down from Jake. And it, and Sam, it looks like Sam's got a guillotine there. I'm not sure how deep that is. Oh, and Jake escapes from it. Very good work from both fighters again. Yeah, I think uh, skill wise, I think uh, Sam's probably got the more skill, and uh, Jake looks like a maybe just a, just a touch stronger. With Sam only being 16, though, he's got um, definitely a lot of time to mature and gain strength. Oh, absolutely. He's, he looks like he's trying to sneak around the back here, and he, he almost is. He's turning for an armbar. He's, he's got the arm there, that looks deep. He's slammed out a bit. I'm not sure what the referee would oh. think of that. He, uh, he looked like he got spiked on his neck. Just a touch there. Yeah, this angle. Very experienced referee, so I'm pretty sure um, it would have pulled him on it if he'd landed on it. It was hard to see from this angle. Yeah, it it doesn't seem to have bothered Sam. Jake, Jake was very lucky though because pulling out of an armbar can often get you tapped you'd, you're a lot better holding on to the head and it looking looks, for a triangle it looks like he's, he's got wrist control it looks like he's looking for a triangle on this side Good flexibility that? excellent work there Jake's driving his head forward to defend from this it's really good work. Looks like he's going to switch around for the arm. He's switching around. Has he got the arm on this good side? Good submission work. Good submission work. He's, uh, he's tying it. Oh, he's tying it. Beautiful technique there from Sam. He's locking well, up the legs. Long number four. And he's out. out. Absolutely brilliant. Excellent well, submission from Sam there. there. 16 year old Sam Hodgkin from Salford MMA. He's ecstatic and Dash Sherlock is ecstatic. Very impressive. A tough fight from Jay Johnson, I'm sure that's not going to be the last we see of him. No, I think he did, uh, did himself proud there as well. Thank you. 